I'm sorry. What can you say about the uh, fourth quarter and the way you guys pulled it out there? Well, it was a hard fought game. That is, there was a physicality to it. And so I thought we made a lot of tough plays, particularly in the fourth quarter when the game was in the balance. And, you know, you can't say enough about the way Isaiah played, protecting the rim. Um, Josh, same thing, you know, flying all over the place. Uh, and OG just impacting the game, like, without scoring, like, everywhere. And then I thought uh, we got good bench play from Alec and uh, Bogey. And then, uh, you know, you, you almost come to expect what Jalen did. You know, it's every night, and it's big play after big play. And, that, you know, like, every time you need a big bucket, he comes up with it. And, uh, you know, it was a good good team win. Like, I thought the defense was really good. To, they're, they're a very gifted offensive team. And to hold them 35% in 91, and, and they missed some shots that, you know, were makeable shots, but we were flying around, too. You know, it, but I thought the extra effort was huge for it. If you don't have that against this team, they could put a bunch of points up on the board on you. How about um, Jalen's finishing? Um, the last two games around the rim, everywhere. I mean, how incredible has it been? Yeah, I, I mean, he's just he's such a gifted shot maker, and you know, like the he's he's a hard guy. You know, I'm, I don't want to say too much, but like I felt like he's getting hit a lot, right? But the the best part of them is he never complains. He's not crying. He'll just keep going. And he'll he focus on making the shot, which he did. So without getting off his game, he just kept going. But he, you know, to drive the ball as many times as he does and the physicality that he, you know, he's being trapped, they're, they're pursuing him, they're hitting him, and he only had four free throws. So, but, you know, that's what I love about him. He's tough-minded. Uh, he'll figure it out. He, he, he knows how the game's being called. He knows that he's on the road. It's going to be tough, and that doesn't slow him down. He do not let the officials impact him in any way. You, you had guys today who struggled offensively, but I think you held them the last 231 scoreless. Just, I guess, what do you see from guys that when they're not having a night offensively to come up like that? Big yeah, and, and the thing is, is like I thought offensively, I liked the way we played. I thought guys made good plays to create open shots for each other. And so that's all you could ask. If you're open, shoot it, right? If it doesn't go in, fine, next one, next one's in. I just have that mentality. But I like the way we moved the ball. And then we had a good stretch to start the third, but then I felt like their ball pressure got us a little bit. But then once we adjusted to that and we got a little more movement and cuts, it loosened up things, and then we, we got going again. And so it was a hard-fought game, you know, throughout. And not to get sidetracked and stay, you know, focused on what we needed to do, I think was critical for us. You always talk about how good Jalen is at just getting off the ball when double teams come. What makes him so good at, like, the next step after that is actually then relocating and opening yourself up? What makes him so good at that step so that when the ball comes back to him to where he's still able to kind of create those good open shots? Yeah, well, I think just understanding, like, what they're trying to do is they're putting two to get the ball out of your hands. And then his teammates also understanding, let him keep moving, because now when he gets it back, now the, the defense is in a scramble. right? So now he's got another chance to go against you know, a, a defense that, that's not quite as set. And when you give him that opportunity, he's going to find the same. So I think overall the team has done a great job with that. I think Josh is great at it, Dante's great at it, Isaiah's great at it, and OG's like, OG's, OG's a basketball player. He does a little bit of everything. Coach, how much did Isaiah set the tone early on? Uh, he, he, with DeMontis, he gets the block, and then he ties him up. He gets on the floor. How much did that kind of set the tone? Yeah, the no, and, and Sabonis is is a load to deal with because you got to defend every aspect of the game. You, you know, him running the floor, him leading the break, him in the post, him on a dribble handoff, him on a pick and pock, uh, him in the pocket, right? And I thought – Every one of those, you got to be able to do like a second and third effort because it's not just him. You're you're involved with helping on you know, Malik Monk on De'Aaron Fox because uh, those guys can't are difficult to guard individually. So you you have to support, get back, 
and then there's a second, third, fourth effort required. And I thought that was, you know, off the charts and the, the, the block shots and just, you know, rim protection was huge for us. Coach uh, Thibodeau, um, well, I can tell you, you know, uh, Bojan Bogdanovic and Alec Burke, so all they are, you know, uh, playing for the Knicks right now. Uh, it's huge for us. And we, we know both guys are gifted shot makers. And it's it, each day it's a little bit better. I think it's hard in season trades, but if you know what they've done throughout their career. So I think we're, we're fortunate to have gotten them. Uh, today was a good day because, as you mentioned, those are timely shots and they're big shots. And so Alec gives you a secondary ball handler as well. So I thought Deuce's ball pressure was huge for us. And then Alec on the ball and then, I thought we did a better job of trying to search uh, Bojan out and, and create shots for him. And I think when we do that and you get everyone playing to their strengths, the team functions a lot better. So I think we're still figuring out exactly how we want to do that, but it's, it's getting better each day. But we got great minutes from our bench today. Um, uh, you put Jalen back in at 7.30 in the fourth. Did you just leave him out there? Was that a minutes restriction thing you mentioned the other day, or was that just... No, that's pretty lines. much gone now. So it's, you know, that was more a byproduct of, you know, after the, the injury. But it, the those minutes, are we were just buying time, and that the group that was in there was, was going pretty good. So I felt like, okay, let's give them an extra minute here, a minute and a half, whatever it was. So, and I knew that they'd be loaded up on him pretty good. So I wanted to make sure that he had the energy to finish. All right, thanks, Coach. Yep.